الله إن الله بصير بالعباد I hand it over all my affairs in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is well aware of the needs of his servants ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم There is no power, there is no strength, but the power and strength of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted and the great. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. I seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from, from accursed shaytan. I begin in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. الحمد لله الأول بلا أول كان قبله ولا آخر بلا آخر يكون بعده الذي قصرت عن رؤيته أبصار الناظرين وعجزت عن نعته أوهام الواسفين. This is the dua of Mawla Imam Zain Allah Abidin alayhi salatu wa salam which is we have a collection of his supplications invocations in the form of Sahifah Sajjadiya and Sahifah Kamila the first supplication invocation is this praise be to God the first without a first before him this is the uniqueness of uh, the monotheism, Tawheed of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wa salam. When we say in one of the attribute of Allah, Allah is awwal, He is the first. So in the mind the question comes, who was before Him? So Imam is refuting the sense of before Him. Bila awwalin, He was, He is the awwal, there is no question before him. He is up. The last without a loss behind him. He will, he will be the last. And no one will be. Beholders eyes fall short of seeing him. No one can see. La Describers imaginations are not able to depict, depict him. If we want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is very difficult, impossible. We cannot comprehend, says Imam. Ibtada'a bi qudratihi al-khalqa ibtada'an wa akhtara'ahum ala mashiyatihi ikhtara'an thumma salaka bihim tariqa iradatih wa ba'athuhum fi sabeel muhabbatih la yamlikunas muta'akhiran amma qaddamahum ilayh وَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ تَقَدُّمًا إِلَى مَا أَخْخَرَهُمْ عَنْهُ He originated the creatures through his power with an origination. All scientists, everyone is looking for the beginning of the universe, how this has started. Materialistic philosophy, they cannot give any answers. Big Bang theories, all of this. When we ask if this world is a cause and effect world, ma'lul, who has caused that big bang to bang? Imam is saying the originator of the universe is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who commanded to be. He devised them in accordance with his will, with a division. Then he made them walk on the path of his desires. So that means each and every autumn is following what Allah has commanded them. That's how Quran also saying. The spheres of this galaxy which is turning is because of the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sent them out on the way of his love. They cannot keep back from that to which he has sent them forward. Nor can they go forward to that from which he has kept them back. وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّ لَهَذَا لِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَزِيزِ الْعَلِيمِ 
That's how the monotheism of Ahlul Bayt al Hamasalatu Salam. When they describe, they describe so accurately. None can describe as Ahlul Bayt al Hamasalatu Salam has described. Jallat Adamato wa Nashhadu Alla Ilaha Illa Allah wa Hadahu La Sharika La. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. ونشهد أن محمدا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى We bear witness that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم عبده ورسوله his servant and his prophet ونشهد أن عليا وأبناءه المعصومين حجج الله اللهم صل على محمد We bear witness that Imam Ali and his from among the progeny of Imam Ali, the eleven Imams are the guides for humankind. Usikum ibadallah wa nafsi bi taqwallah. I advise myself to all of you, my brothers and sisters, to be careful for, for duties which will going to come in front of us. Whatever we do, we do, it is not going to be perish. It will stay till the last moment of our life and beyond our life. And Imam is continuing uh, then, وَحَذَّرَكُمْ الدُّنْيَا الْفَانِيَا I warn you of this perishable world as, world as Quran wants us to be. كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ everything, everything will be perish, but the very essence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will be remain. And Imam al Imam al Salatu Salam continuing the this dua, he's saying, "Wajala lakum lekul ruhim min hum kuta maluman maksuman min rizqhi la yan kuso banza dahu na kes, wala yazidu man nakasa min hum zaid, thumma darab lahu fil hayat ajalan maukuta, wa nasaban lahu amadam mahduda." يَتَخَطَّأُ إِلَيْهِ بِأَيَّامِ عُمْرِهِ وَيَرْحِقُهُ بِعَوَامِ دَحْرِهِ حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَ قُسِعَ أَثْرِهِ وَاسْتَوْعَبَ حِصَابَ عُمْرِهِ قَبَضَهُ إِلَى مَا نَدَبَ إِلَيْهِ مَوْقُورِ ثَوَابِهِ أَوْ مَحْضُورِ إِقَابِهِ لِيَزْيَ الَّذِينَ أَسَاءُوا بِمَا عَمِلُوا وَيَزْيَ الَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا بِالْحُسْنَى عَادِلًا مِنْهُ تَقَدَّسَتْ أَسْمَاؤُهُ وَتَظَاهَرَتْ آلَاؤُهُ لَا يُسْعَلُ أَمَّا يَفْعَلْ وَهُمْ يُسْعَلُونَ He assigned from his provision to each of their spirit and nourishment known and appointed. No decreaser decreases those whom he increases. No increasers, increaser increases those of them whom he decreases. Then for each spirit he strikes a fixed term in life, meaning life of human being, each and every autumn of this universe. For each he sets up a determined end. He walks towards it through the days of his span. He overtakes it through the years of his time. Then when he takes his final step and embraces the reckoning of his span, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seizes him to the abandoned reward or the feared punishment to which he has called him. That he may repay those who do evil for what they have done and repay those who do good what what they have done good. Or as a justice from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, holy are his names and manifest his bones. He shall not be questioned as what he does, but they shall be questioned. This is how Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam, even in the duas of Imam Sajjad, we see that a spirit of sermon of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. When we all the time, I am, I am read, reading the duas and sermons of Imam Ali, and same tune you see Imam Sajjad's dua that shows it is because of the circumstances he could not deliver sermons, so he has to say, Allahumma, he has to give same knowledge which has been given by his forefather, Imam Ali, alayhi salatu wasalam. His father, his grandfather. 
and we know all of us this month of Sha'aban is month of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad getting closer to the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala slowly gearing up towards the mayadan towards the path which leads to heaven which leads to the success and first uh, Shaban has been declared today and inshallah third Shaban which is birth of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam and fifth Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad fifth Shaban is birth of Imam Sajjad and fourth Shaban we are celebrating birth of Hazrat Abbas alayhi salatu wasalam and today do we Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad Today we do celebrating, we are celebrating the birth of Bibi Zainab sallallahu alayhi wa alayha. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. The beauty of this month is, uh, this is the only one month in which we don't have any martyrdom of any imam or any masoom. That shows the birth of imam Zaman ajal Allahu ta'ala farajaw is giving good tidings to all ummah. When he comes there shall not be any griefs. There shall not be any pain, inshallah. Ya Allah, the Abdul Kistam wa Adla, Baadama Muli Abdul Mam wa Jawra. We were talking about social crimes, Gunahane Ijtemai. What are the causes? How we can control it? So we reached to this point. Last week, one of the responsibility being in social being, we are the human being, social being. We have responsibility. Quran says, La Taskur. La tashkhar qawmin min qawmin. One group of people sh shall never ridiculize the other. They cannot do that. They cannot do this. So that is one of the social interaction which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the direction. Today, we human beings possessor of will. We do have irada. We have irada and we are responsible of our own irada when we do act upon those iradas. بَلْ يُرِيدُ الْإِنسَانُ لِيَفْجُرَ amama. Human being wants to ruin his future because of miscalculation, because of his own thoughts. Allah says, be careful. And وَنَفْسِمْ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَىٰ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created this nafs as a very perfect sawwa, as a musawwa. Nothing is insufficient in the nafs of human being. And then he has guided through the ilham of what is good and what is bad. For the bad, you don't need religion to someone to teach this is bad. Even those who deny religion, they know lying is bad. Those who deny religion, they know doing bad acts robbing or maybe usurping the other's wealth is wrong. Even though they don't need any religion. Quran says فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا So this very will has to have a responsibility because I have a will, I have an irada, I should be responsible. In social justice, if do I do possess irada, I have to act in a proper way, I cannot usurp others' wealth, I cannot do anything but to follow the norms of the society. Thus there has to have laws and regulations. Those laws and regulations as led by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, and other human beings, they are trying to create their laws themselves, which is going to, one day or another, they have to finish it up, inshallah, because they, there is an insufficiency in the laws of human-made laws. Quran says, Tammat kalimatu rabbika sidqan wa adla la mubaddila li kalimate. Allah says, these words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are so perfect, they cannot be changed. They are based on justice and equity. They are based on adala, sidq wa adla la mubaddila li kalimate. You have to change according to the will of Allah. Allah is not going to change because it has been given according to the given abilities. La yukallifu Allah nafsan illa ma us'aha. Salvatul Ima Ahmad wa alam Ahmad. So all of our actions are, have been recorded. We know ourselves. We cannot run away from them. And we need to be careful what we do. 
because for my yamal mitkal adaratin khayrin yara wa my yamal mitkal adaratin sharrin yarahu in ahsan al hadith wa ablag al ma'idat al hasana kitab Allah a'udhu billahi min al shaytan al rajim bismillah al rahman al rahim wal asr in al insan la fi khusr illa al ladhina amanu wa amilu al salihat wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr محمد وعلي محمد وعجل فرج أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونتوكل عليه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له والصلاة والسلام على خير خلقه وأشرف بريته أبي القاسم محمد اللهم والصلاة والسلام على علي أمير المؤمنين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وفاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين اللهم صل على والحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة اللهم صل على والصلاة والسلام على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد ومحمد بن علي والحسن بن علي والحجة القائم المهدي اللهم صل على حججك على عبادك وأمنائك في بلادك الذي يملأ الأرض قسطا وعدل بعد ما ملي الظلم وجورة اللهم عجل فرجه الشريف اللهم اللهم إن نرغب إليك في دولة كريمة تعز بها الإسلام وأهله وتظل بها النفاق وأهله وتجعلنا فيها من الدعاة إلى طاعتك والقادة إلى سبيلك وترزقنا بها كرامة الدنيا والآخرة اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات اللحياء منهم والأموات تابع بيننا بينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك على كل شيء قدير أما بعد صلوات بني محمد وعلى محمد This is a very uh, important month to for the tahdeeb nafs tahdeeb nafs purification may be making our nafs to be in order proper nazm in our life nazm meaning is giving order in our life as imam ali sallallahu alaihi in his wasiyat he says nazm umurikum taqwa is very important but having order in our organizational skills in life is very important and very soon, some of the schools have been already closed. Some are very going to close. It is our duty to parents to have for their children a comprehensive program in the holidays. Because time of leisure is a very dangerous time. Human beings should never be a leisure. But once he thinks he is, le he is free, has a free time, that is the time shaitan enters into the system. That's why Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salatu wa salam, Allahumma salli ala. By the way, we all of know, fifth Shaban is birth of Mawla. In his one of the dua, which is very beautiful dua for the parents to read, 25th dua in Sahih Fatul Sajjadiya. And you read this dua, this dua is for the children. 24th dua is dua for the parents. And 25th dua is dua for the children. Imam alayhi salatu salam says three things. One is taking care of abdan, adiyan, and akhlaq. Three things has to be taken care of. Number one is their bodily needs. Number two, their religious needs. Number three, their moral needs. All three, three needs to have a program. So in this, these holidays, parents do have to have a very comprehensive, beautiful program. 
there should be uh, activity, physical activities, and what the kids has, are watching, they have to be very watchful because everything is being affected in their lives. So I hope all of us, we do so for the future generation. And the challenge is, if we really want to survive in this world, only survival game is knowledge. And survival game is taqwa. lil muttaqin. But survival game is salih. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the future generation who is going to take care of this earth, heir of the earth, are the salihin. So we need to create such a society so that Imam Zaman al Jalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif comes Allahumma salli ala will be helpful for all of us, for we are helping him. The beauty of this month and uh, the, this is the beautiful month, the dua of Mawla Amil Mu'mineen is very important dua. I ask all of you, if you, you can go today or tomorrow, whenever you have time, read this called Munajat al-Sha'baniyya. He said, Munajat is a whisper of Mawla Amil Mu'mineen towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So deep in knowledge, so much in depth, and mystical understanding, irfan, deep knowledge of Islam. If we want to understand this, I'll give you the overall, the beginning of this dua. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Wasma duai idha da'utuka. Wasma an nida idha nadaituka. Waqbal alayya idha najaituka. Faqad harabtu ilayka wa qiftu bayna yadayka. Mustakeenan laka. Mutadarra'an ilayka raja'an lima ladayka. Thawabi ta'lam ma fi nafsi. Wa tukh ta'khburu hajati wa ta'rifu dhamiri wa la yakhfa. عليك أمر منقلبي ومطوايا وما أريد أن أبدأ به من منطقي واتقاه به من طلبتي وارجوه لأقبدي my lord bestow your blessings on Muhammad and his progeny اللهم صل على محمد Respond to my prayer when I pray to you. Listen to my call when I call you. And turn to me when I make my submission to you in confidence. I have come running to you and I am standing before you, imploring you in humility and hoping to get the reward you have for me. Oh, you know what is in my heart and you are aware of what I need. You know my mind and are not unaware of my future, of my present. Of what I want to begin my speech with, of the request I would utter and of the hopes I have in regard to my ultimate lot, my Lord. Whatever you have destined for me up to the end of my life, whether concerning the open aspect of life or the hidden aspect of it, is bound to come. What is to my advantage and what is to my disadvantage, all my losses and gains are in your hand, not in the hands of anybody else. And this, see the how submission of ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So such a beautiful du'as we do have, unfortunately we are unaware of. I was uh, narrating this story, I was in, uh, in Dubai after Arba'een, I saw in, in my majlis, a uh, western, a uh, white anger, a uh, maybe teenager. After majlis he came to me, he said, I am Brian, I was in Lucknow, I learned Urdu, I know now even the literal Urdu. So what you are doing in Lucknow? He said, I am doing anthropology and my focus is dua of Imam Sajjad alayhi salatu wa salam. It was so shocking for me how the Western people, universities, they, are, they want us, they want to know who we are and ourselves we don't know who we are. If we ask any Shia, how many duas in Saif al-Sajjadiyah Majority of us, we don't know. So that is how, that's, I ask all of you, please, give a little bit time for yourself, for your akhirat, for your religion, so that you know what you are, and you know who is behind, you know who is against you, because knowledge is a power, and the power belongs to Ahlul Bayt, wasalam, because Ahlul Bayt are knowledge. Salawat for you, Muhammad. Muhammad. Third Shaban is birth of Imam Hussain, all of us we know the fourth uh, year of Hijrah, third Shaban. 
and uh, when he was born, Prophet Muhammad has given name as Hussain, coincide with the Shabir of the Hebrew language. And then our beloved Prophet Muhammad started crying before the Mazara asked, What is happening now? At the time of birth, instead of giving good tidings, he said, Just now Jibrail came. He, has, he let me know this son will be brutally killed in the plain of Karbala. What is the fault? Because he wants to secure the essence of religion of Islam. So that's the tiding or good tiding or of tragedy of Karbala has been given on the day of birth of Imam Hussain. I will give you one or two um, sayings of Imam so that we can act. Wisdom never attained perfection except by following the truth, obeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want wisdom, you cannot attain until and unless we have to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Sajjad al-Salaam's birth is on the 5th Shaban, on the 38th Hijra, and uh, the ocean of knowledge has been given by the Imam, which is called Sahifa Sajjadiyah. We do have Sahifa Kamila, which has many, many more duas than the Sahifa Sajjadiyah. And his one of the saying is, who honors himself dishonors worldly things. Allahu Akbar. When we honor the worldly things, that means I am not honoring myself. That's why Imam Ali says, Akrim nafsaka an kulle daniya. When it comes to the lower desires, you take care of yours. You are much more greater than this. If you understand this philosophy, that makes things very easier. Rather than giving it away for the lower desires. Salawat Padiya Muhammad Wale Muhammad Wale. On the International Day of Refugee, the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics released a statistic review on the current status of Palestinian refugee in which it revealed that the Palestinian registered refugee total 5.1 million living in a very disgraced life. The Ayyadam bin, we don't know what they have done. So we do have responsibility. Allama Mirza Yusuf Hussain, he is the Imam of Noor Masjid Noor Iman. You know, his assistant, Maulana Ghulam Muhammad Amini, has been assassinated last three days before. In a press conference, he expressed his uh, sorrow and he expressed his anger towards the government of Pakistan, doing nothing. And we all, um, followers of Ahlul Bayt, we do have duty not only to contact our, our the, uh, towards the Pakistani consulate or embassy, but also to write something to UNOs also. This is also one of the responsibility we to do. Election in, in Egypt, all of you are aware that they want to move, and I don't know, it is a catastrophe. What is going to happen, Allah knows. And it is a known fact so um, the uh, brotherhood's leader, he is supposed to, Akhwan al Muslim is supposed to come. Uh, someone said something. Salawat wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa But they want to bring the Junta, a leader of Shafiq, and there will be catastrophe. And uh, may Allah make God forbid. May we have, all of us, we have the duty to pray for the Egyptian brothers and sisters, those who are struggling for their tahrir, for the hurriya in the battle of uh, tahrir. May Allah give them the hurriya, inshallah, very soon. In aqulu qawli anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen inna ahsan al-hadith wa ablag al-mu'idhati al-hasana kitab Allah, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Yadha jaa nasrullahi wal-fatha Wa ra'ita al-nas yadkhuluna fi dini allahi afwaja Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wa istaghfirh Innahu kana tawwaba Allah Allah Allah